Guys, thanks for watching. So in this video, I want to talk about rejection and, and you know, what people are facing when they start an online business, when they start a network marketing business or something that they're promoting, like in our space, um, in this industry. And that's really who I'm talking to, because if you're subscribed to my channel or if you're if you've come across my video, the chances are, you know, you are in this space, you know, of, uh, you know, referring people to a business, building and building an organization, building an online business, building a team or whatever. And we do fair, we do face our fair share of, of uh, rejection. We get haters, we get people who are trying to pull us down or, you know, um, trying to trying to preach to us, uh, you know, what you're doing is not right. Or, you know, yeah, we get we get our fair share of that, you know, we get our fair share of no's. And if you're not getting no's, okay, in other words, if you're not getting rejections, you know, you, it, it's an indication that you're not pushing hard enough. You're not you're not going out there enough and uh, pro promoting the business. So, you know, sometimes people get discouraged and they think and they start asking questions upon themselves and they think, am I doing the right thing? Am I am I involved in the right kind of business? Should I be doing this? Should I be involved in network marketing? Is this a pyramid? Is this wrong or whatever? Guys, I'm here to tell you that, you know, for me personally, I think network marketing is a fabulous concept. It really is. Network marketing is all about sharing. It's, it's about sharing the love. It's about sharing your your passion and getting that out there. You know, people who who uh, think that that's just wrong is 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 not right. I mean, it's it's uh, the whole concept, in my opinion, of network marketing is great. Now, people talk about this. You know, this industry is broken or whatever. That's a different. That's for a different video. I'm just talking about the whole concept of just simply sharing an opportunity, um, because you are passionate about what that is, the the product. As long as you go about it in the right way, you know. You know, for me personally, what it is with LiveGood is more than just an income opportunity, more than just um, the the opportunity to simply make money. It, it's the whole picture. It's the vision, and uh, you know, as, as many of you know, I, I love the health side. I, I and you don't have to be a health freak or you don't have to be someone who goes to the gym or you don't, you know, is I like live good products simply because they do great things for me personally. And I have, you know, decided I, I just like what we have here on all levels. OK, it's not just about the business. Yes, we get paid well uh, if we put our put the work and effort in. But it's it's all it's all about, you know, I couldn't be successful in this without first helping other people and that's what i love about this whole concept of network marketing i you know if people think people say okay it's a pyramid it's not another one of those you know it's um guys if it was a pyramid then you know we wouldn't be having all this success with not just you know the leaders having success we, we'd all be you know we're we're all experiencing the success everyone's generating success for those who are putting in the work and effort We've seen thousands and thousands of people ranking up into leadership ranks. And, uh, you know, even at the most important rank, which is bronze, is just proving to you that you can do it where maybe a lot of people were not able to do that in previous companies or other opportunities. And I'm seeing so many of that. People are saying, wow, I have uh, achieved my first milestone, my, uh, you know, and, I, and, and then they're on to the next rank and then they're on to the next rank. And before they know it, they're, they're gold and platinum. And, uh, you know, we see a lot of people who are already at diamond. It's not just the people at the top who are having success. Everybody's having success. You know, guys, if you want to talk about pyramid, you know, the, the, the church structure is, is, is represents a pyramid. I'm not saying it is a pyramid. I'm not criticizing it. I'm just saying that structure has that kind of hierarchy. And, you know, your company that you work for represents the kind of the concept of a pyramid more than what network marketing is, in, in my opinion. You know, you're, you're going to. And, and, and the, the, the stats prove and the statistics prove that people in network marketing, although, you know, people say that, you know, 97 percent people fail in network marketing. But that's 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 a different thing. That's because most people aren't really will, willing to put the, the, the effort into it. But uh, guys, compare that to your corporate world, you know, in your job situation. It's it's not easy for people to just simply replace someone right at the top there. You know, you can't just, you know strive to be the ceo of your company because the position is not available to you or whatever you know so you know but but with network marketing you have that opportunity to go wherever you choose to go in terms of success you know if you want to go diamond you can go diamond you'll get paid as a diamond if you want to go beyond that you know that's up to you if, if you put in the, the 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 effort and work and you'll get 
and you'll get rewarded for it no, no matter you know we've got people who you know we've got teachers we've got um you know people who are trying to juggle um three or four part-time jobs who are now making more money in live good than they did in their part-time jobs and it's incredible to see and it's all almost you know, it just brings tears to my eyes and you know i i get goosebumps seeing this because they're not going to be able to do that make generate that kind of success in the job that they that they're doing you know they've got to juggle three or four jobs part-time jobs just to make ends meet but now they're actually earning more money in live good than they did in those three or four jobs put together so it just proves that uh, you know if they can do it you can do it if i can do it you can do it you know so it's not just about you know the leaders who are doing incredibly well and they are doing well because they put in the effort but we all started somewhere we you know and uh, and everybody has that opportunity the playing field is level and we all you know get our head down and we we run and we work together and that that's part of the the, the excitement that's the part of the thing that i love about this industry is that you know we can follow a few simple strategies we can you know we, we can follow simple instructions and do it consistently and then we, we can have success, okay? Now, I do know people who are saying to me that I've been in for two weeks and I've still not sponsored a single person. Um, but, you know, you, you always know why that is. You, you, you know, when you just, you, all it takes is just a little conversation. You can ask them a few questions. How many people have you spoken today? How, um, have you got into someone's, you know, mess, you know, you're going into people's messenger inboxes? Are you making, are you networking with people? Are you, how, you know, and I can go onto people's timelines on Facebook and see, you know, are they posting anything? Now, I'm not saying that you have to be on Facebook or you have to be on a certain platform, but you've got to be doing something, you know, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or YouTube or, you know, you can't think that, you know, a lot, you know, I, I know a lot of people, you know, they, they, they do a lot of traffic generation advertising, but you know, guys, that's extra, you know, that, that helps. What that does is it helps to, at the end of the day, it's all, it's all relative. It's all bringing people to you closer to you. But if you're not then following up with those people and having actual conversations with those people, then it's all a waste of time. You're wasting your money in, in uh, advertising your business because once you advertise your business and you get leads and, and you you generate those leads and you you get some pre-enrollees or whatever if you're not having a conversation with those people you're not reaching out to them and, and you're doing and you're not doing it relentlessly and consistently every single week or even every single day you know reaching out to those people it's not going to happen okay it's not going to happen so i could easily you know i can have people come into my inbox i've been in two weeks i haven't got a single person who has upgraded okay well how many people did you speak to, to yesterday how many people are you speaking to today uh, what was their excuse? What was the conversation? Send me a screenshot of the conversation. Um, did you get into their inbox? If not, you know, if you, if you don't have their contact details, email them, tell them I'm on Facebook. I want to have a conversation with you. Let's chat. Let's talk, you know, get on to WhatsApp, give, you know, have an opportunity to chat with them on WhatsApp. I get a lot of people who want to use WhatsApp with me, but personally, I prefer not to use WhatsApp. I prefer to use messenger one way or another. You need to be able to get in a position where you're having a conversation with them, okay? Don't just rely on automation. Don't just rely on um, leads and, and ads and, and uh, lead generation and so on. That's important so that, you know, some of, the, some of that will be used so that you can bring those people to you. Then you can start that conversation. It's, it's all, that's, it's like a production line. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, I don't want to, don't want to sound like I'm making all this, you know, automated and, you know, we're dealing with humans here. Not, we're not, we're not passing a piece of meat around here you know but what it is it's like a production line you know you're you're bringing leads in but but once once you're narrowing down and you're sort of sifting out to find out where who are the the, the potentially the keen ones you're narrowing things down those are the people that you you need to sort of try and reach out and build up a relationship with and nurture and and build up a know like and trust i mean you know how do you do that there are so many ways but the first thing is just to try and have a conversation with them i mean at the end of the day you know if you're doing too many fancy things you're probably pushing people away at the end at the end of the day if you're doing more kind of realistic things like more human things like you know wanting to have a conversation with them that's all you need to do if you're doing some kind of fancy things using fancy ai software that's great and i use a lot of fancy ai software just to you know, speed up my time in terms of narrowing down, you know, who, which leads I can be working with. Once I get to that point, then I have an opportunity to 
break away from the, the AI technology or break away from the automation of autoresponders and marketing systems and stop using those for these groups of people because they have qualified themselves that they are ready to have a conversation with me. You know, I can't have these conversations with 50,000 people who are on my leads list, okay? But I can, you know, talk to the, the, the certain few who are able to come to me because they are, you know, they've, they've checked out my business opportunity. They've, they've seen some interesting things that have been coming across their desk about what I've been posting or what, I, what I've been uh, emailing them about because I do it consistently. I, I'm emailing them, I'm emailing them. And most people will ignore my stuff, but there are some people who are going to, you know, take me up on it and say, okay, what is this about? I'm, you know, or long time no see, Ed, what, what's this about? You know, I'd be interesting to see. Um, guys, you know, people say that live good is saturated. I had somebody come into my inbox I haven't seen for about three or four or five months now. They they joined me in a, in previous companies and we worked together and on other things. And I got an I got a message in Messenger from someone and they said to me, "What is live good?" They didn't know what live good is. They've been in this industry for, for quite some time. This gentleman, he's in based in India, um, lovely guy, fantastic, and uh, haven't spoken to him for months. And he said to me, "What is live good?" And um, can you give me some some uh, some can you give me some understanding of live good? And I said, "Okay, well, check out this six minute video. Everybody can do that. Everybody can can do this, you know." So I gave them the six minute video, which is the free tour website. They checked it out and they actually said, "Wow, what a fantastic uh, business!" I mean, what I'll do is I'll actually put the uh, the screenshot here just to prove to you that you know this is a conversation you're going to have with people you know sometimes you will get those people you will you will get rejection you will get haters but you will also get a lot of positive people who are coming across to you but you're not just looking for people who have never heard of live good you're going to come across people who have heard of live good uh, and but up until now they hadn't really heard it from you because you are the messenger. Nobody, nobody is going to present this business opportunity like the way you do it. All right. And uh, although they could have heard about it 50 times from some, from other people who are just pitching it in this way or pitching it in that way, but they haven't heard it from you. And you know your relationship that you have um, could could be the the you know the, the difference. And they think, okay, that that does actually look pretty good. I'm going to take another look at this. And they end up joining you. I've had many cases with that. And not only me, I've had people in my downline who have never had success at all, who are just out there talking to people, you know, and, and in some cases they have spoken to people who have had who have heard about Live Good before, but just didn't it didn't click or whatever. So, you know, people that's gonna happen, you know, and with two hundred and sixty-five thousand members in just over four months of launching, yes, that is fantastic. It really is. It's incredible growth. But that's not that's not a huge amount of people com considering the, the population of the world and and what we've got here and and you know the <clears throat> the potential here because people think that we're saturated we we are absolutely far from saturated even if we had a million members and which we're targeted to do by the end of 2023 I, I honestly think that we will we will it'll not even be a drop in the ocean um, it, you know e even even with a million members. Um, which which we will be uh, by the end of the year, I'm sure. But uh, guys, you know, get get going with this, get started. And if you if you haven't been really pushing it on a daily daily basis, you really need to start doing it. And I, I highly urge you to 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 get going with this because a lot of people are coming on board. And and one thing for sure, the one thing we know is <clears throat> the only place somebody can go is under the people who are already in. And if you're already locked in. You know, there's only a question of time where you can potentially get that spill off that you've been waiting for. But quite frankly, guys, don't be the spill off waiter, you know, because that can happen and it may well happen down the road. But, what, you know, the success for those of us who are really looking for success are people who are making it happen. So, you know, get out there start to make it happen. Be the spill off creator in your team, in your organization. Make your downline proud to have you as their sponsor. OK, one thing I often ask myself, would I be proud to have someone like me in my organization? You know, ask yourself that question. Would you be proud to have someone like you in your organization? I can be pr I am proud to say that I've got people like me. In fact, I've got people way better than me in more, my organization. I've got uh, <clears throat> people who are light years ahead and way more successful than I am. But the reason why I was able to bring those kind of people on board is simply because I'm out there. I keep my head down. 
I, uh, you know, I, I'm uh, I'm always putting out content. If you're not putting out content, it's just not going to happen. People are not going to not going to see your your um, your your uh, your offers. Okay, so uh, that's why I'm able to bring people in. But not only, you know, the average. I'm not only bringing in, you know, I mean, everyone I bring in is good people. They're they're all great people. But I'm not only bringing in, you know, the average, you know, person like me into my business. But I'm I'm bringing in big people, which is which is amazing. Way you know bigger than I I could have imagined. Bigger than bigger than what I can do. Um, and and it's amazing. It's 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 better than a lottery ticket, <laughs> you know. Even if a even a winning lottery ticket, it's better than that because I've I've progressed. I I, I realize now that in in my journey as an online marketer since I became a, a complete newbie back in 2015 till now, I can I can see with with what I've been doing over the years, day by day, you know, with my YouTube channel gradually growing, with my fa my 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 Facebook. And, you know, back in 2015, I was too scared to get, even get onto Facebook. I wouldn't even post on Facebook. Okay. I wasn't even on Instagram, obviously. But, you know, <clears throat> if you look at some of my old videos, I was shy and I am shy, but I can see the progress and I can see I did get out of my comfort zone and I see I made it happen. Okay. And uh, I, I believe I've earned this. Okay. Uh, you know, mentally I've, I've built up this. Okay. And, and you guys have look, got to look at yourself and think, Am I doing things day by day that I can be proud of? Okay, we're not looking at we're not looking for for experts. We're not looking we're not expecting you to have some incredible skills. Okay, we're not looking for um, professionals here. We're looking for average everyday kind of people. And if you're a complete newbie, it uh, doesn't matter about your your background. It doesn't matter if you're a native English speaker. You know, you can be a completely non-native English speaker, and it's working for you guys. You know, it's it's this is the same pay plan. I'm, I'm earning from that you guys are earning from. We, we are running the same system, the same pay plan, the same set of tools. There's nothing different, okay? We all started from the same position, okay? I'm, I wasn't born like this, okay? So guys, get on board. Let's work together and uh, let's just get going. Let's do this, all right? Look forward to working with you guys. Thanks for watching and see you on the inside. Bye for now.